for this problem our prerequisite is problem before that 3.17 because we are going to the use the result which we derived there in this problem so if you have not done that problem just do it and then come back to this so the result which we derived was if we have a shell with a charge distribution of sigma naught cos theta then the electric field inside comes to be constant and its value is sigma naught by 3 epsilon now let's come to our problem here we are given a sphere solid sphere with volu volume charge density a dot r vector where a is a constant we need to find the electric field at the center of the sphere so let's say a vector is towards right and this is the theta angle which the radius is making with a vector so you can see that in this half the cos theta will be positive so a dot r which is our charge density is going to be positive so right half of this sphere will be positively charged and left half will be negatively charged now let's consider a small shell at a distance r and width the thickness dr so this is the shell so on that elemental shell we will again take a even smaller elemental <laughs> element so on that element we can write charge in two ways one by using the rho and volume of that element and second by using the surface charge density and area of the surface so in both ways we can consider this element and that charge should be same if we calculate it either way so first is sigma r into da and second is rho r into dv so at a distance r we are writing sigma r and rho r rho r into dv so dv is dr into da the thickness is dr and area is da so for that small cylinder volume will be dr into da and rho r i can write as a r cos theta so da will get cancelled from both sides and i will get sigma r is equal to a r dr cos theta now for this shell r is constant we are only talking about the shell we are not talking about the whole thing what is varying theta so now the distribution of charge on this charged shell is going to look similar to this because that is also constant into cos theta so again here we are considering r as constant for this shell so ar dr terms term is constant and we have a cos theta term so sigma on this shell is similar to sigma not cos theta here so now we are ready to use this result so let's read also this equation is similar to one so field inside due to elemental shell is constant and its value is given by 2 that is de so again d is because of the shell this elemental shell is equal to ar dr by 3 epsilon so sigma naught by 3 epsilon so total field now we are going to integrate it from 0 to r so we take the all the shells small shells into consideration so limits will be from 0 to r and we will get our total field ar square by 6 epsilon so needless to say direction should be towards left so again do this problem if you did not understand this and then you will probably get it